I got fired from a job simply because of the color of my skin. Hello, my name is Diane and we are butterflies going through life, being inclusive, discerning and tolerant. Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I would like to talk about racism, colorism and my experiences. If you're new here, please subscribe, like, and share. I love to tell stories of experiences I have encountered. Right now, I am an avatar, black, a woman of African descent. When people see me, they don't just see a human that they would like to get to know. They see a black woman that they might not want to get to know because she's black. This is a deeply troubling issue because we are all so much more than what we look like on the outside. I used to work as a certified nurse assistant, a CNA. I used to care for the elderly, which I loved. At first, I was working for an agency. There were people in charge of finding us clients. And I remember that they sometimes had so much trouble because the clients had a preference for white caregivers. And at the time, they mostly had black caregivers. Thankfully, they were not tolerant of such behavior. Fast forward, I got fired from a job simply because of the color of my skin. This job I found through a website. I was super, super excited because I was not going to have to pay a fee like I did with the agency. Going to the interview with this elderly, I was excited. I met her, we spoke about the position. She seemed nice and very observing, I noticed. After we finished talking, she had me speak to the caregiver in the kitchen so she could give me more detail about what was expected of me. It was actually a house setting. While in the kitchen, I could hear her speaking to her daughter on the phone. Her daughter and her seemed to have a good relationship. I heard her telling her daughter that my skin was too dark but that I have a lovely smile and that she loves my smile and she would like to hire me for the time being and see how it goes. When I heard this conversation, I was a little taken aback. In fact, I was shocked. And right there, I could not help but realize that the caregiver in the kitchen with me was very light skinned with long flowy hair. I understood that she could not have a white caregiver. She settled for a very light skinned one. If you know me, you know that I am always eager to start something new or difficult. <sighs> Even both. I told myself I'll work even harder than expected because of this preconceived opinion of me. I am too dark. I must not be good enough. The caregiver told me that I was going to share the hours with another caregiver that was going to be starting tomorrow just like me. This was a 24 seven position. I was to relieve this caregiver at the end of her shift in the afternoon. A day later, I met her. She was nice, very beautiful and light skin. I could not help but notice that it was not her natural skin color. Now, there are diverse reasons people may choose to depigment their skin. I'll give you a couple of reasons to treat skin conditions such as fertiligo, which is a disorder that causes the loss of skin in certain areas. Some might do it for cosmetic reasons, believing that a lighter complexion is more accepted or attractive. There is also cultural or social pressure, societal beauty standards standards, cultural norms, even peer pressure. In some cultures, lighter skin is historically associated with higher social status or attractiveness. I have heard countless stories about this topic in parts of Africa, America, and Asia. I can help but find it quite disturbing. How do we isolate groups of people because of the color of their skin and the features of their face? Long story short, no matter how hard I tried, my work was never good enough. She would often compare it to the other caregivers and it was just bad. One day I heard her on the phone with her daughter. Again, she was telling her daughter she could not get over my dark skin and she instructed her daughter to fire me and just like the first day I heard the whole conversation again when I got home that day 
her daughter gave me the expected phone call where she told me that her mom no longer needed my services and she was super cold too. I honestly felt liberated and I also understood that the daughter was just like her mom. Hey, it was summertime. I love to swim a lot. My skin is bound to get even darker. <laughs> A study conducted by the National Bureau of Economic Research found that job applicants with white sounding names were 50% more likely to receive a callback than those with black sounding names. Even when their resume were identical, this is just one example of the many ways in which discrimination affects people of color in the workplace. I knew that my termination was solely based on my race. Yes, they had hired two ladies that were also black like me. I believe it was because it was hard to find white workers in this field of work. Racism can manifest in various ways, including racial slurs, stereotypes, systemic discrimination, unequal opportunities, and bias in institutions. Racism can lead to social inequalities, unequal access to resources and opportunities, and harm to the mental and physical health of the marginalized racial groups. The more you get to know who you are, the more you are appreciative of your skin pigmented, melaninated, or not. You are more appreciative of your hair, which by the way are all representations of where you come from. Your roots. No matter how people perceive you, your true power resides in what you think of yourself. No one wants to feel isolated, rejected, ignored because of the color of their skin. I believe that as a society, we become more accepting of people as they are. More people will feel comfortable showing up as true versions of themselves. There is a place for all of us if we are willing to open our minds and choosing to be more inclusive. I feel it is a realization that can happen as we keep working on us. Remember to never, ever, to never, ever underestimate the power of the light within you. I love you, my butterflies. Goodbye. Flashway.